So, Babajit, my next question is uh, something that you don't have to answer. Uh, the question is that, do you have a planet, prominent planet in Hasta Nakshatra? You don't have to answer that. Oh, Hasta, no, no, I don't. <laughs> you don't? <laughs> okay. I wish uh, I had. <laughs> okay. So, Babajit, uh, go, uh, moving on. Yes. You see, my problem with astrology is if I look at a chart of a future Mahatma Gandhi, of a future Einstein, of a future Nobel Prize winner, it is very difficult to say that this person will be the Prime Minister, President, Nobel Prize winner, or a person of very high achievements. Yes. So what is that, you know, that you can use to identify a very, of course, all charts are high caliber. You see, everyone has achievements in some area or the other. Yes. But, yes. So that is always there. But some people uh, not only have the caliber and the talent, but they also kind of achieve a very high status in life. And, and they are able to make decisions which actually change the world, changes the world. Yes. So what is that can be used to identify such charts? What kind of placements do you, uh, do you look for? Yeah, so uh, this question uh, actually uh, can have different answers and the answers will vary as per the experience of the astrologer. And uh, there are no specific rules in the classics which says, that, I mean, there are yogas, Raj yogas and Mahapurush yogas, and there, all those yogas are there, but there are no specific dictums or injunctions which says that, oh, this will make the person very renowned. And even if there are dictums, then million people will have those yogas because there are so many people. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yes, correct. But uh, in this uh, presentation, I would share the screen now. And uh, yeah, so... I would I have uh, saved some charts here. Uh, okay. Are you able to see this? Yes, yes, it's clear. Yeah, so uh, I would show you certain examples which in which okay. I will show that uh, if there are too many planets in the Kendra houses, then things can get a bit creepy. Okay. Okay. So, which means that uh, if see, basically, success is what you cannot be successful in cricket and Bollywood. That's not possible. Hmm. success has to be something very focused now Sachin Tendulkar can also be a great cook I'm not saying he cannot be but Correct. you cannot be known in 10 things right one or two Correct. is fine but it Correct. can't happen so when you say somebody is extraordinarily successful it means that that person has a energy which is flowing very harmoniously in one direction yes yes so I will be trying to show that here and there will be many pros and cons which I will ignore, but I will be sharing this from my personal experience, which I have seen in other charts also. Okay. Okay. So, so this is the chart of Atal Bihari Vajpayee, if you can see. <laughs> the chart itself is not yet open. Okay, but it's. I think uh, the screen is shared, but the chart is not open yet. I can't see the chart. I can see this. Uh, uh, the screen sharing has stopped as the window was closed. Just a minute. Okay, so are you able yeah. to see now? Yeah, now I can. Yeah. Yeah. So this is the chart of Atal Bihari Vajpayee, okay. Prime Minister of India, one of my favorite politicians. <laughs> okay. So here, if you see, Saturn is in exaltation here. Yes. Yes. Libra, and it is giving the Sasha Mahapurush Yoga also because it is in Kendra. Correct. Correct. Now here you will see uh, Saturn. Uh, well, one, one minute, Bhavajit. Yeah. Mahapurush yogas are seen only from the Lagna or from the moon or both. How does it No, work? It has to be seen from Lagna because that shows physical existence. And Lagna shows what you are doing in the okay. physical world. Yes. Okay. Okay. So here, uh, now if you have it from moon, that can give you strength the otherwise. But it has to be there in the Lagna. This is what my experience okay. is. Okay. So here if you see that there is one planet which is very strong here. Yes? Yes. And not only that, I will show you PVR Narsimha Rao's chart, the ex-Prime Minister of India. Yes. So yes. there I will beautifully explain to you. But here I am just starting it here. So I will just show okay. you. So Saturn is here in exaltation. Mm -hmm. Yes. And it is in Kendra. So it is like dominating the whole chart. 
Okay. And there is no energy which will oppose Saturn here. That is very mm. important. You see, mm. Mars is out of the Kendra. Mm. Uh, what, whatever you take, I mean, see how it is dominating this chart. Mm. And he had such mm. humble beginnings from where he came into power. So this is one very strong thing I have seen. Now you see PVR Narsimharao's chart. There you will understand things much better. I'll just close this chart. Okay. Yeah. So now in this chart, if you see, you see that Mars is very strong here. Hmm. Mars, is, Mars is in directional strength. Okay. Hmm. So hmm. now many people will have Mars in the 10th house. Yes. Hmm. Many people will have Sun also in the 10th house. Sun is okay. But let me talk of Mars here specifically. So what is happening is, okay, that we know that that eighth lord is in the tenth. So that means some tragedy has to happen. Then only he will go up. <laughs> that that mm. that is all understood. What happened mm. in his history? Mm. But mm. what I am saying is, Mars and Jupiter are opposites because mm. Mars says just do it, and Jupiter says no, don't do it. Think, <laughs> and Saturn mm. says, oh, I will not let you do. I will let you uh, work for the next hundred years, and then I will let you do. <laughs> Yes. Mm. So in the earlier chart, we saw that Saturn was prominent and mm. Mars was outside of the Kendra. Okay. So now, now here you see where Jupiter is. It is in 12th okay. house. Now okay. when Jupiter is out of the Kendra and Mars is in big bulk, it means Mars is like saying, oh, I will do whatever I want. The planet who will stop me. Now Jupiter is not an enemy. Yes. Mm. Saturn is the enemy. But even mm. when if you can see any chart, where Jupiter and Mars are equally strong. Mm. They are equally placed in Kendra. Especially mm. both are in Kendra. The person mm. always has a difficult time deciding should I, uh, should I beat this person or should I forgive him? <laughs> mm. Because one planet is saying, oh, do this. The other Jupiter is saying, no, 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 don't do. Because, because Jupiter always likes peace. Jupiter mm. always wants that everything should be as per customs. And that's Correct. what and that's what this man did. Yes, he liberalized the economy. Now, of course, you can always say that Manmohan Singh did that, but everybody knows who was behind. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. if suppose Jupiter was in Kendra here or any other mm -hmm. house, then mm -hmm. this person would be like, "Oh, should I do it? Should I break the custom? Should I break tradition? Should I not?" Mm -hmm. That that polarity, that uh, unidirectional strength would not come. Then I would okay. show you. And then another thing you would see here, the Arudha Lagna is in fourth house. Hmm. I mean, if you take Jaimini principles, then if Correct. you see the, uh, the Arudha Lagna is also important. So here, if you see the sixth Lord of the Arudha Lagna, which is Venus here. Yes. From fourth house, ninth house is the sixth. Hmm. That sixth Lord is sitting in the fifth house. Hmm. Now, what does this mean? Now, from the K, uh, K, from the Lagna, this is not a very great placement, Venus in the eighth. But if you take from the Arudha Lagna, see, hmm. that's what is important. Great personalities charts will be harmonious from so many angles. Oh, angles, yeah. Yeah, so now I will show you. See, from the Lagna, you saw. So, this is showing the physical thing. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Sun hmm. is in the 10th house. That is giving a lot of name fame. And Mercury is also in hmm. Mahapurush Yoga. And the hmm. Lagna Lord in 10th is itself like a kingly placement. Hmm. And 10th Lord in 10th is also very strong. But now hmm. you see what's happening from the Arudha Lagna. If you see from the Arudha Lagna, the 6th Lord is sitting in the 5th house. Hmm. Now what is 6th house? The 6th house from the Arudha Lagna can show your enemies. Yes, or what your image about your enemies is. Now, what's happening here is, the 6th Lord is going to the 5th house. 5th house is what? Hmm. Is the house of fan following. <laughs> Correct. And that is why his enemies, like Atal Bihari Vajpayee, they were they were his greatest fans. Yes. And so many people, he was loved unanimously so much because his fifth house has the sixth lord. <laughs> now, if the sixth, fifth, fifth lord goes to the sixth house, it will be the opposite. People will become your fans, then they become your greatest enemies. So many examples, I will not quote. <laughs> So this is one thing I have shown from the Arudha Lagna also this is happening. I mean what is promised here is happening from other sides also. And now I will show you uh, Jaya Lalita's example. It's visible I guess not. The quality is yes, not. Yes. Yeah. That's clear. Yeah. So now this is one chart which is very very bipolar. Which means there are two planets which are extremely strong. <laughs> 
Jupiter is in Mahapurush Yoga, Hansa Mahapurush hmm. Yoga, and Venus is in Malavya Mahapurush Yoga. Correct. Yes. And if you see, housewives both are in a precarious state. They are outside hmm. of the opposite of the Digbal. Hmm. It is known as Dig Shunya. Hmm. Which means Jupiter should have been in the first, it's in seventh, and hmm. Venus is in tenth. Now, hmm. when you are confused regarding the houses, take the signs. Okay. Hmm. Now, Jupiter is in Multricone sign here, ignoring the degrees. Hmm. And Venus, Venus is in exaltation. Hmm. That means Venus is more powerful here. Hmm. So that means now, now Jupiter, Venus are also kind of opposites. They represent material and spiritual. So yes. if this lady comes to you with this chart, what is the suggestion you would give? Hmm. Suppose this lady comes and tells you, Oh, hmm. should I become a religious person or should I become hmm. a person in glamour world, which is Venus? Hmm. Hmm. Then hmm. you would say probably you would consider becoming glamorous because Venus is more strong. Hmm. But, but, but if you go into side of Venus, do not look towards Jupiter. <laughs> okay. Okay. So if you think, oh, I will go on doing movies and I will also keep going to temples and I will maintain that image. also, It's not going to happen. You are going to have a very tough time. Or if this lady says, I want to become completely spiritual, tell her, stay away from camera. That's it. <laughs> and mm. that's what happened. She was totally on the other side. And look, mm. she was one of the most famous actresses. Correct. Correct. And then you have this uh, last two, three examples. I have. This is Hitler's chart. I mean, I'm in Germany, mm -hmm. so I must show this chart. <laughs> mm -hmm. but is, it allowed, is it allowed for you to show Hitler's chart from Germany? Yes, very much allowed. <laughs> So here again, you see here uh, now here Mars and Saturn are both in Kendra. Yes. Okay. But Mars is much, much stronger. It is in Mahapurush Yoga and it is also very strong. I mean, it is in Kendra and it is in the Multricon sign. Mm. And Saturn is there in the 10th house, but it is not in a very great sign mm. I mean, for Saturn. <laughs> mm. So that means although this is there in Kendra, but um, Saturn is not that strong. Now imagine if Saturn would be sitting in the first house. That is like hmm. total disaster. Hmm. Because then Ma Mars is very strong and Saturn is also strong. That hmm. is like that's like an epic crisis. They are hmm. not letting each other work. Hmm. Yes. Hmm. So this is also a harmonious chart with obstacles because Saturn, although it is not strong sign-wise, house-wise it is still hmm. strong. So hmm. this is one thing and then uh, Akshay Kumar is another example. Again, you see here, Sun and Mars, they represent all this physical uh, fighting and he was martial mm -hmm. arts that all those things are there here. Mm -hmm. And you see where uh, Jupiter, Saturn are. They are out of the mm -hmm. camera. <laughs> mm -hmm. Now, they are supporting Mars here, but they are not opposing. Because mm -hmm. planets in trines, they will support. Mm -hmm. They will not oppose. Yes. So that is very true here. And last, the everybody's favorite chart, <laughs> Amitabh Bachchan's chart, if you take out, the mm. kind of similar thing you see here. Now Saturn is very strong in Rohini Nakshatra. In Taurus, it is in friendly sign. And mm. all these planets, which gave him a stupendous rise in his status during mm. the Saturn Dasha, they are placed in mm. trines from Saturn. So mm. when you make Saturn the Lagna Lord, they go in trines. They don't go into mm. opposition. Mm. So these planets helped him rather than saying, oh, we will try to pull you down. Mm. And Jupiter is also out of the Kendra here. Yes. Although it is exalted. So it is still out of the Kendra. So which means that when Saturn decides to act, there is no opposition. <laughs> so when if suppose this person would come to you with this chart, what would you suggest? I would simply say, just work hard in life, everything else will fall in place. <laughs> Everybody will perish. And that's what happened. I mean, he is mm -hmm. the undisputed mm -hmm. king of Bollywood. Yeah. So. Sure. so these are the things which I would like to share. So, Because when you say extraordinary success, I always focus on this thing that it has to be unidirectional. You, you cannot have a chart which has... Four, four Mahapurush Yogas. Now imagine you are a movable ascendant and mm, mm, all four mm. Kendras, you have one, one planet. Na? Mm, then mm. it's like, where do you go? Mm. It's like a hotspot. And then you don't end up going anywhere. That is why if sometimes people say, 
oh i have three exalted planets in my chart why my life is so miserable mm. that is why mm. your life is miserable <laughs> absolutely fantastic so maybe i'll stop the share now yeah that was that was very good uh, baba ji really enlightening i must say thank you <laughs> because um, this is these are some of the tricky questions of astrology you know it yes. is very difficult to locate all these kind of things i've got uh, some more questions uh, yes, sorry sir. i'm taking a lot of time but no nevertheless okay. you you can go on asking whatever you want my next question pertains to nakshatra padas yes so every nakshatra has four padas yes now the nakshatras itself are well researched and well taught okay there is a lot of material that one can read about the nakshatras itself but there is not enough material available on the nakshatra padas what are the significance what is the significance of nakshatra padas how does a planet behave differently if it is in pada 1 dharma pada or artha pada or kama or moksha pada how is it different from the other padas 